This is easy and fast. Go to geargenerator.com and gear properties. Put what you want. I change pressure angle to 25 and select the gear. Download scalable vector graphics. And the bigger gear. And in Blender, Scene, Units, Metric, and File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics, and Zoom, press N. Select the gear and you can see the dimensions. Select the center and the pitch diameter. Set geometry to origin and select inverse and delete. And let's hide this for a while. And again, file, import, scalable vector graphics, and the bigger gear, import, select the center, and the pitch diameter, geometry to origin, and select inverse, and delete. And let's calculate the center distance. We can reveal the other parts. And this pitch diameter 11.289 plus the other pitch diameter. 5.645 5.645 is 16.934 divided by 2 8.47 centimeters the center distance and now we can delete the pitch diameter circles And select the other gear and start to move and set leave the centimeters 8.47 okay and press 7 and 5 Press R to rotate and we have the correct center distance. Now a little bit more work. Select the gear, object, convert to mesh from curve. Press tab, we can see the triangulation. Press tab again, object mode, select the other gear, object, convert to mesh from curve, and press tab, edit mode, select all, make edge face. And object mode, select the other gear and edit mode, make edge face or select all, make edge face and select all, press E, extrude, set axis, move a little bit up, left click and here in the box, 
five millimeters thick. If you want rounded root, select vertices and press W, subdivide and again subdivide and then mesh vertices smooth vertex and now I do some cleaning select all and remove doubles 3d printing toolbox some problems but if I do object mode top select all and scale 100 enter and select a small gear and file export STL export it is perfectly okay in NetFab.